Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and uh, this is an update to the free kit bash uh, mega asset pack uh, video that I did yesterday. And uh, yeah, so if you downloaded the the free uh, pack package, uh, again you can go to this link. I'll be leaving a link in the description. I just select uh, Blender, and uh, yeah, you can select any of these and hit download, add to cart, and then you will be able to download after you sign in. Of course, I uh, don't need any to enter any credit card information, just your e email. Uh, but uh, if you downloaded it, you might notice that uh, it's a very heavy file. That uh, opening it in Blender can be very, very difficult, especially if you try to preview uh, the assets with textures. Uh, let me get, take you to the folder itself. Uh, so you can see the, fol the folder contains about uh, 321 textures, 4K textures, and uh, each of these is about 10 MBs uh, per image. And uh, any asset has may have 10 to 20 images on it. So it can become very heavy for Blender. So in order for you to open the projects uh, successfully, you would have to optimize your textures and uh, reduce the resolution, especially if your computer is not beefy enough to handle it. Uh, so my computer is about, uh, these are the specs for my computer. You can see it's a 16 GB installed memory and uh, about uh, an i7 and a 4 GB graphics card. Uh, that's an NVIDIA a GTX 1050 Ti. So, and uh, my computer is also struggling. So if yours is, has less specs than that, it will not be able to open it uh, successfully. So here's a trick to optimize uh, the textures uh, for you so that you can easily open it yourself. So the first thing you want to do after you extract the texture, just copy uh, the file, uh, the Blender file, into a new pro into a new folder like this, and uh, open it. Uh, what that is going to do is that uh, Blender will not know how to find uh, the textures since it has been moved away from where uh, the textures, uh, from where the original textures were ported. So if I go to preview this, then Blender will just give me this uh, error showing that uh, it doesn't see uh, the textures. Now to optimize the textures, uh, because if we try loading the textures, the 4K textures here, uh, Blender will crash or will not, will just hang. So to optimize the textures, you want to go to Photoshop if you have it and then or find something equivalent and then just uh, um, optimize uh, the textures. I want to show you a quick way to optimize uh, multiple files at once. So let's uh, find, I think it's in my mixer library and uh, the original textures are these textures. You can see there are four textures. So what you want to do is just select one image and uh, go under Windows and find the actions uh, tab and uh, start uh, create a new action just call it whatever you want uh, it's now called action 2 and now as it is recording from the from this uh, yeah just start optimizing the image uh, for example I want this to be about 2k uh, you can choose whatever size you want so I'm just going to change this to 20 uh, I don't know 28 I don't know, maybe that's 2k and then hit ok scale it down and then save for web file save for web and uh, you want to maintain the same uh, format so this is PNG uh, so if I change it if I save this as a JPEG Blender won't recognize it because uh, it's being uh, it was imported here as a PNG not uh, not JPEG so make sure you you maintain uh, the format so this is also going to have to be a uh, PNG Just give it a moment to compress this. So, and uh, you, you're going to look, at, see the difference between uh, the compressed file. So you can see this is about five MBs, uh, which is still high, but a bit better than what we originally have here, uh, which is 20 MBs uh, per image. And uh, for this asset, that is, for whatever asset that is using this, it will have to use all the three images, which will add up to 70 MBs, which is quite a lot. So after you uh, you have changed the format to make sure that it matches, then you can save. Uh, all the action, actions you're doing here are being recorded here, so keep that in mind. And now you just have to navigate to where you want, to the folder where you have placed uh, the, I think it's here, where you have the Blender project. So going to save that and uh, Photoshop has is recording all the steps we are making here and uh, we'll just redo those steps automatically to all the images image files we want uh, 
just give it a moment to save and uh, you can see and then we also need to close so that it can record that action as well because we don't want all these uh, windows to be open so then close you know like you can see we have three actions we have changing the image size export and then closing and then you can stop recording uh, so that we can apply these actions to a set of images so okay so after recording we know that uh, our file this is our action so we can open up another image uh, for example uh, let's go to the original folder this image here and we can just select this action and hit play and uh, we will you can see that uh, that action is also exported that image is resized exported and then closed uh, so if we go to the folder to the new folder you can see that we have the second image as well if you open another image uh, let's say this and hit that action you can see that uh, we get that inside here uh, you can see now the size has reduced from uh, from 90 from uh, 20 MBs uh, to less than 1 MB and uh, we can see that uh, the format the file, the file format is uh, the same as we want and uh, then to select multiple images you can just open uh, a number of images you want so for example we can open about uh, for the case of this story because I want things to run faster I'm just going to select as, ma as many as, I don't know, these are 12, I think. Open them at once and then apply the same action at once for all the open images. Uh, depending on how uh, beefy or how powerful your computer is, you can select even up to 20 or 30 or 100 at once uh, to apply the same action at once. Now, to, do, to apply this action for all the images that are open, we can go and file, automate, batch, and uh, select the action should be action 2 as that's the action we want to apply uh, the, the source should be changed to open file and uh, destination uh, we don't have to use any because that's all already inside uh, this action and I uh, hit ok and uh, you can see now everything uh, should be yeah should be exported so if we go and uh, look at you can see, Photoshop might appear like it's not doing anything. It's actually doing something in the background, exporting all these images. So if we refresh here, you can see that, uh, yeah, we should be getting new images as Photoshop exports. As you can see, we have a new image here and I should create another. You can also look at uh, the items, number of items increasing here as Photoshop's, Photoshop starts exporting. And after it exports that batch, you just have to open another bunch of uh, photos until all the 306 320 images are done so i'm just going to cancel this process now because i already exported this i've already done this already so let me just uh, stop and let me just close it directly here after you're done with that all you have to do is uh, go to file external data find missing uh, data and uh, you can navigate to the folder that has the optimized images now we exported but we didn't export all of them so I'm just going to find yeah so these are the optimized images for me so I'm just going to hit find missing files and uh, then blender should uh, find them should find and use the optimized images that are easier to use uh, for my machine so I'm just going to give it a few seconds here and uh, you can see that uh, now uh, this is quite easy to use and uh, very very smooth on my computer so yeah that's how you optimize the images and uh, these are still good result this is still a good resolution to use and uh, very manageable uh, it's, it's a workable resolution so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial